The Create Symbol command creates symbols from 2D and 3D objects, including text. At placement, the symbol can convert automatically into a group or plug-in object. These symbol names are colored either red, blue, or black. Symbols with red names become plug-in objects, symbols with blue names become groups, and symbols with black names remain 2D, 3D, or hybrid symbols. In Modify, Create Symbol, you'll see the following options depending on what kind and how many objects you have selected. If you have a plug-in object selected, then you'll see a checkbox under Other Options for Convert to Plug-in Object. This will create a red named symbol. When placed, this type of symbol is converted to a plug-in object. It has a specific insertion behavior, point, linear, rectangular, or path, and set parameters. It can also be modified with many variations of the same object existing in the same file. Changes to a red symbol name's definition affect future instances, but not existing ones. This kind of symbol is useful for creating a particular customized plugin object and storing it in an object library in your resource browser. This is most commonly done with windows, doors, and furniture plugins such as table and chairs. If you have multiple objects selected, or a single object selected that has no plugin information, you'll see a checkbox under Other Options for Convert to Group. When placed, this type of symbol is converted to a group, and any changes made to the symbol definition later will have no effect on this group. However, if the objects selected are symbols, you will be able to create what is referred to as a nested symbol wherein you have one or more symbols inside of another. With the insertion set to convert to groups, I can make changes to the arrangement of the objects inside individually without affecting the other instances of this placement. But, in addition to this, I have the ability to globally change each of the individual symbols inside. In this example, I'll replace the style of this chair. My arrangement changes remain the same, and only the symbol I altered will change globally. This is most useful in large-scale projects, such as a hotel or office building, where you're going to have many duplicates of very similar geometry that you only need to make slight changes to later. The grouping is a temporary way of managing these sets of objects so that you can easily ungroup them later and make the small customizations required. If you do not choose Convert to Plugin Object or Convert to Group, the symbol name will be black when the symbol is created. This is the most common type of symbol, the static symbol. Its parameters are saved within the symbol definition and set at placement. Changes made to the symbol definition in this document will affect all previous and future instances of that symbol. This is used mostly if you have an object that you wish to replicate in multiple locations throughout the file that you may need to make changes to later. Once a change is required, you can simply edit the symbol definition in the resource browser, and all of these place symbols and future symbols will change accordingly, making it very easy to alter objects without redrafting them entirely or hunting them down within a file. Thank you for joining us, and don't forget to visit kbase.vectorworks.net for more video tech tips and other technical articles. Thank you, and have a great day.